Welcome back to my channel, my name is Erica, and today I wanna to share this dresser makeover with you. I took this old laminate dresser and transformed it into something completely different. It is such a huge transformation, but the steps in painting laminate furniture really are simple, and so that's what I wanna share with you today. All right, so a little bit of background on this piece. I have had this dresser since I was probably in middle school. I vividly remember going and picking this out. Obviously you can see there is some wear and tear on the front and that was a result of us deciding to tape the drawers shut for some reason. We thought that was a good idea. Obviously it wasn't, so learn from our mistake. But I have been staring at this dresser for years, wanting to change it, but not knowing how to paint laminate furniture. I'm here to tell you it's a lot easier than you might think. So first of all, the first step in most projects like this is to remove all of the hardware. I am going to save it, put it in a baggie just in case it's something that I want to use in a future project. Um, but this part is really simple. The top drawer has single knobs and then all of the other drawers have two holes. I don't know what you would call those. Um, but I also wanted to remove these embellishments on the sides and they were pretty easy. I just had to get underneath there. I ended up using a like a box cutter and that was how I was able to get underneath there and then I just pried them off super easy two little nails that were holding it um, and so this I think is just dating the piece a little bit and I didn't really go with the vision that I had um, so they had to go and they're actually plastic all these years I thought they were metal but they were plastic so this part was really easy um, so we'll get this done and move on to the next step then I'm just going to fill in those little holes left behind from the embellishments. I'm using just some plain wood filler here and then I'm going to wipe away the excess because I really don't want to do a lot of sanding. Uh, with this method of painting laminate fur furniture, you really don't have to sand. I am choosing to do some light sanding, especially where the finish had come off, where we had taped. And so I'm just using some 400 grit sandpaper and just making sure everything is smooth so that the final product will be smooth. Um, but this was very minimal. If you don't have any issues anywhere on your piece, you don't have to do this at all. But like I said, I wanted a nice smooth finish. So I'm just going mostly on the front and making sure everything is nice and smooth. And then I'm going to wipe it down. You wanna make sure that there's no dust or sand or anything on there. Um, again, because you want to get a really nice finish in the end. So the next step that I'll be doing is priming and this part is essential for laminate furniture. You want to prime and you need to use something specific and what I'm using is called, it's the Bin Shellac Primer. I got it at Home Depot. I think you can get it a lot of places. I'll make sure I link it down below in the description. Um, but here I am just priming and this stuff is really runny and it dried really fast. I used it, obviously I'm outside. The best way I could describe the smell is if you opened up a bottle of hard liquor, that's the smell. I would recommend doing it in a well-ventilated area. Um, it wasn't the worst smell, but I don't think you'll want it inside. Uh, so I just went through and very quickly primed as quickly as I possibly could. And um, the goal is just to cover all of the shiny parts basically everywhere that your paint is going to go, you wanna make sure that you are priming. And I did end up doing two coats of this primer over everything, and I let it dry overnight. I don't think you have to, but I, when I'm doing pieces like this, because I'm spending the money and I'm taking the time, I wanna make sure that I do it right. So I would highly suggest taking your time with this, making sure that you're getting adequate coverage so that when you go to paint, that it'll cover really nicely and you'll get the finish that you're looking for. Here I am going in with that second coat of the shellac primer. Uh, I wanted to make sure that there was adequate coverage like I said. I did once this was dry, like later that night, I went in and tested the paint to make sure you couldn't see any of the finish through the paint and we were good to go. Um, if you have a darker piece, then you might have to do three coats. Um, but that's up to you. I would also recommend with this primer probably a roller uh, because using the paintbrush, it was okay, but I felt like I could have gone a lot faster with the roller. So just keep that in mind. But here is how it looked after two coats of primer 
And this is actually the second day and I am now ready to do a little bit more sanding. And this is mostly because you can see the strokes of the brush and it kind of left a little bit of a texture. And so I'm going through and just making sure everything is nice and smooth and flat so that my paint will go on really nicely. Uh, you probably don't have to do this, but I wanted to make sure that the final finish would look good. Now we are on to paint. Now the paint that I'm using is by Bear and it is in the color Creamy Mushroom. Now this color, I wanted it to be kind of a sandy, beigey, grayish color. Uh, this is going back in my room and I wanted it to go with the aesthetic of my room and I also wanted it to look good with the hardware that I chose. And so this does dry a little bit different than it goes on, but it is actually a really beautiful color and I'm really happy with how it looks. It goes with everything in my room and so I'm very happy with it. I usually use bare paint because Home Depot is close by me. I think you can use pretty much any paint on top of this primer. The point of the primer is to allow that paint to really stick and um, it has passed the scratch test and everything like that. Um, so I think we're good to go. But again, I'm using a paintbrush. You can apply it however you want to. Um, a roller probably will go a lot faster. Uh, but yeah, this is the exciting part. And it's funny, I had some ladies that live near me. They were walking their dogs and they came through every once in a while. And so they got to see the progress and they really thought this color was beautiful. And I agree. Uh, the painting is the most exciting part, but as you can see, there's really not a lot of steps to do and um, it came together really nicely. One thing I will say is for the, what, 15 plus years that I've had this dresser, I thought that the drawers did not come out. And so obviously I didn't take the drawers out as you can see in this video, but as I was putting on the hardware, somehow. Uh, one of the drawers came out and that would have made this project so much easier um, but yeah for the longest time for the whole time I've had this I didn't know the drawers came out so there you go <laughs> okay the very final step is adding on the new hardware and I got all of these knobs and poles at Hobby Lobby and they were having 50% off of each one and so I got 10 knobs and poles for about $30, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And they're really beautiful and I'm really happy with how they look. I think obviously the paint makes a difference, but these knobs and poles really change the look of this dresser and it's what really pulls it together in my opinion. And here is the final result. I think it is such a huge transformation from what we started with. I feel like the paint and the new hardware really just transformed the look, made it look so much different, and it really goes with my home decor. Uh, but I hope that in this video you learned that painting laminate furniture does not have to be scary. As long as you're using all of the right products, you can have a beautiful result like I did. Uh, but yeah, I have a whole blog post written about this so if you want to check that out you can i'll have all of the products linked down below that i used today but i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something new if you did i would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this but anyway thanks for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day